Suspended UF football players appear in court. Nine are accused of making purchases with stolen credit cards. WUFT's Amanda Grohowski was in court this morning when the first two players to appear asked for pretrial interventions and joins us live for the newsroom. Amanda, what can you tell us? Well, Jordan Scarlett and Rick Wells were up first, but more will follow this month. A judge has to approve these requests, which could allow the two players to avoid criminal convictions. In September, nine suspended Florida football players learned they could face criminal charges of credit card fraud. Then head coach Jim McElwain commented in the following days. I'm obviously disappointed as we were from the get go. Uh, and yet, uh, you know, there's still a lot to be found out. Among the accused, running back Jordan Scarlett and wide receiver Rick Wells. Both faced third degree felony charges. The legal process has to run. And look, I feel horrible about it. I feel horrible for those kids. I also know what it can do for the rest of, to reckon their, the rest of their life. This morning, Wells and Scarlett appeared before an Alachua County Circuit Court judge. The prosecution offered them pretrial intervention, and today the judge approved. Are you, ma'am, happy to give you the opportunity to fulfill this agreement? Good luck to you. For Wells and Scarlett, this means a 12-month probation period where they will each have to pay a $200 state attorney fee and complete 50 hours of community service. And if they fail to meet these requirements... I would not expect probation to be a likely outcome. Uh, it would be a, much more likely that incarceration would be the appropriate outcome. Scarlett's attorney declined to comment at this time, but Wells' attorney told me by phone that Mr. Wells is happy to put this matter behind him. All but two of the other student athletes in the case have been offered pretrial interventions. James Houston will be in court this Wednesday, Antonio Callaway and Richard Desir Jones on November 14th, Ventrell Miller on the 29th. Kavanis Davis does not yet have a court date, and prosecutors are still considering what to do with the two others who may face charges. Reporting live from the newsroom, Amanda Grahowski, WUFT News.